So today's a bit of a, um, a bit of a mashup of little bits and bobs that we've been doing. I've spent most of the day on the phone to Network Rail, trying to come up with a solution how we can make the crossing more safe. Um, we seem to be getting there now. They they kind of think that there's a lot of thick people use the crossing, so they want to make sure that the people that use the crossing um, know that the signalers know where the people that are using the crossing are. And apparently if they suggest where they are first, then the people could just agree and then just cross the lines, even though they don't know where they are, and then get run over, which is natural selection, if you ask me. So my way, they kind of do agree that it, that it, is, it is brilliant. But if um, if someone is a bit stupid, then it won't work in some in some ways. But I'm, I'm sure when you ask someone for confirmation where you are, by, by that, that sentence, you, you're already telling them that you know where you are and you want them to confirm it. So I quite don't get it, but... I've come up with an idea that maybe we can confirm where we're at and then they can ask us a code off the phone that we're ringing at or a what three words for the location that you could then repeat back to them and it's like a double check and that would work far better for everywhere in the country even whether people are thick or not. So hopefully they, we're, we're going to meet with them and um, and, the, and one of the bosses and different things from um, from Network Rail and come up with a solution. Uh, I'm just in the field of oilseed rape. It's, um, I thought it would be a little bit of an update on that because someone was saying they wanted to see some of the other crops yesterday. Um, it's coming on well now. We, we, we've we've got these pods that are that are quite quite long now. I mean, you know, it's like as big as my nose. Um, I'll just split one open and show you inside anyway. Now, as you can see, the seeds are kind of swelling up there. Um, that's one, a green one, right in the centre of the screen. So they'll start to go black soon, and um, and that's when the oil's formed. So the field at the moment is still green, but if you can see, it's getting a little bit of a brown tinge to it. Nearly looks yellowy at the moment, but. It'll go brown, and when it's kind of the colour of a hers back, which is there's one here actually that's a bit a bit that colour, where it's got damaged by the tractor driving in. So when it kind of well, that's mouldy, you see, it's been damaged. But when it kind of goes that colour, that's when we'll, um, if we need to, if it's uneven ripening, we'll, we'll we'll spray it off so it all ripens the same, and and it, it speeds up the harvesting process, and we get less losses of out the back of the combine at harvest. Um, we've now had sort of 56 mil of rain in the. Yeah, we. We've now we've now had 56 mil of rain in the last month, which you know up until about three weeks ago we, we'd had nothing really. So um, things definitely are looking a bit better. Just to put it into perspective, 56 mil of rain is around sort of that much, or in other words, 560 tons of rain per hectare. So this field here is about um, 11 hectares. So someone could do the maths rather than the letter of the day. 11 times 56 is, is how much rain has fell on this field. So I know there's some videos last night on, um, on Facebook and Twitter and stuff about massive downpours happening really quick. And, you know, there was someone that had sort of like 30 mil of rain in, in 45 minutes. Well, that, that's 300 tonne to the hectare in 35 minutes. So you can see why it floods down roads and washes things away and washes bridges away in rivers if they're not cleaned out and different things. It, it's mother nature and, and rain is very powerful and very heavy so it's uh it's, it's nice to see it um i've also got a bit of stick off people going oh it's not stopped raining since you said you wanted some well apparently it's going to stop raining on thursday afternoon and we're going to have it nice for a week or so so that'll be good if it's got some moisture underneath it the crops get some heat get some sunlight get it converted into grain and um we should have something to harvest random job today maybe some uh, plant pots Taking a dead tree out of a pot. Or something. Got the tree stumps out, put some compost in the topsoil. Now we're just putting plastic over the top to keep the rain out. When Sam first came working here, I bet he didn't think he'd be polishing oversized plant pots. it turning now um, that's basically a hoover along here so as the hook the air is sucked into the engine there's a lot of dust at harvest so it sticks to that and it blocks it all up so it rotates around every time it goes on this gray box it sucks all the rubbish out of it and blows it out the bottom and all the air for the radiators like you'd have on the front of your car on the top and all the air goes down the side of the machine like that and tries to keep the dust as clear as possible and this is the clearest place to get it from is the sky there's the radiators now. Which which one's the intercooler? The far one. 
that's the intercooler that's for the air conditioning and that's the radiator for the engine it's obviously blocked up quite bad so it knows blowing out that's the hoover with the little thing oh that's the aircon what's the middle one the oil cooler that's a mercedes 600 horsepower was it v v8 or v6 v8 that's the air filter about the size of a dustbin or a wheelie bin <laughs> That's about all for today. Like I say, it was a bit of a bit of a mashup of mix up of different things going on and Network Rail took up most of my day. But um, if anyone's got any questions, just put them in the comments or if anyone's enjoyed it, share it. Um, if anyone, it's the first time you've seen it, this is something that I started about three months ago when um, when the when the whole lockdown came about because I'd done something for the BBC and um, I had to do the footage myself in the cab because they couldn't come close to me. So for the crack, I just did it again the next day and um, it's just kind of carried on now and I, I don't really know when to stop. Um, I keep threatening to say I should stop because I'm sure people aren't, aren't watching them anymore but then they get loads of messages saying oh no no um, something to watch it's interesting so I'll just carry on until someone says shut up you idiot and then um, you know stop <laughs> so bye anyway chat